Greetings to Dr. Abu and my fellow face. Today, our team are going to present about forest company that currently has an operation in Malaysia. The company that we choose is Coca-Cola Company. Our group has consisted six people, including myself. They are Paul Jinyan, Ogo Chai, Nisa Jiu Zhen Li, Chua Wei Ge, Yong Yun Lai, and also me, Xia Zhong Chen. Next. And we all know the Coca-Cola Company is an American multinational corporation founded in 1892 based on and the producer of Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is the leading beverage manufacturer and distributor in the world and one of the larger few in the United States with more than 2,800 products available in more than 200 countries. Coca-Cola was created or admit 86 in Arata Drinkery, Dr. Joe City Bebeto, a local pharmacy, producer the city for Coca-Cola. The purpose of Coca-Cola is extend is to review the world, make a difference. They are also have set out their future with either brings down certain number for a better shape future. This ambition driven to create Friends and viewers church or drink them beverages and at the same time to maintain the fuel boom body and spicy. Next, the venture or operations in Malaysia to Coca Cola Company has a two strategy. The first one is marketing strategy, and the third one is technology strategy. For marketing strategy, Coca-Cola brands have been in Malaysia since 1936. The company only established its corporate present here 1979 by vouchers, its body and distribution to local partner FAN Coca-Cola and Sadili Bahad. FAN is a well-known manufacturer and distributor of local soul drinks with host 64% share of, of the Malaysia soft drinks market. Besides, for technology strategy, the Coca Cola company has implemented technology such as the automated store and distributor system and SLS is in its warehouse. The Coca Cola company in Malaysia is set to country contribute for area. Automator irregularity with SLS. All food and beverage is both to Sarah Road or Malaysia with certified HALA. This is because they are make sure the products are approved systemically and manufacturer under the swing care list and quality controls. Thus, we can see that Coca Cola is Malaysia. We have a Hala logo printer on each bottle and can to and can to get the computer or the most mostly in Malaysia. Next. Hi and good morning everyone. So next I will be discuss the challenges that faced by Coca-Cola due to the political and legal system in Malaysia. There are three challenges faced by Coca-Cola, which is ensuring Hala certification compliance, sugar tax implementation, and also geopolitical boycott campaign. So the first challenge is uh, halal certification compliance. This is because obtaining halal certification in Malaysia is a complex process governed by a strict Islamic standards. It is a significant challenge for Coca-Cola, which is requiring a careful consideration and adherence to gain acceptance among Muslim consumers. To tackle this, Coca-Cola is checking every step of their production process and making sure nothing non-halal gets mixed in. It is not just about following the rules, it's also about showing they respect the belief of Muslim customers in Malaysia. Moving forward, another challenge arises from the implementation of the sugar tax in Malaysia. This tax, introduced to combat obesity, directly impacts Coca-Cola due to its sugar content exceeding the specific limit. The resulting price is increased and led to a decrease in sales. In response to the sugar tax, Coca-Cola Malaysia has a strategically planned to reduce sugar content by introducing products such as Coca-Cola Zero Sugar and launching smaller pack size. 
This strategy move aims to adapt to the new tax regulation and potentially increase sales in untaxed areas. The last one, navigating a geopolitical boycott campaign poses a significant challenge for Coca-Cola in Malaysia. The boycott, fueled by tension in the Israel-Palestine conflict, has led to the removal of Coca-Cola from menus in over 2,000 Malaysian Muslim restaurants. In Malaysia, there are significant movement calling for a boycott of US goods, including products from companies like Coca-Cola. This is in response to perceived support from the US for Israel. The conflict has sparked tension and people are expressing their views through economic actions like boycotting American brands. It's not just Coca-Cola, other American companies like Starbucks, McDonald's and Colgate are also affected. Hence, this situation highlights the complexity that multinational corporations face when politics and social issues from one part of the world spill over into their operation in different markets. It also underlines the importance of, of maintaining transparency and ethical business practice to the to build a sustained trust among consumers and stakeholders. To wrap it up, running a business in Malaysia is not easy for Coca-Cola. They have got to deal with halal rules, sugar tax and political issues, but they are doing their best to adapt and stay strong in the market. That's all from me. Thank you. The trademark acts of 2019 is the legislation that regulates the registrations of trademarks for their products and services along with the enforcement of relevant treaties and other related matters. So the registrations grant the trademark owner complete and exclusive control over the mark, making it an integral association with the company or product. For example, Coca-Cola is recognized by its trademark, which is the white cursive lettering of Coca-Cola on a red background. The trademark acts safeguards their business operation in Malaysia and allowing them to thrive in a country with a diverse population, including a substantial Muslim community. As we know, the largest ethnic group in Malaysia is Muslim. Hence, the halal certifications play a pivotal role in consumer preference. Obtaining the Department of Islamic Development in Malaysia Jakim's Halal Certificate is crucial for establishing trust among the Muslim consumer who actively seek the halal mark before making purchases. This certification is not only ensure compliance with regulation, but also serve as a trust-building measure for Muslim consumer. With a halal accreditation, Coca-Cola Malaysia can potentially boost their sales by instilling confidence in Islamic consumers who prioritize halal defined products. All right, now I will like to present what is the challenges of opportunity of the financial system in Malaysia. For our group, we are using Coca-Cola company as our example for our assignment. The first and foremost, the first point of challenges is imposed tests on juices and beverage. So as we know, Malaysia plans to address rising opportunity, uh, obesity rates by implementing a sugar test on juices and sugary beverage. It is a move endorsed by the World Health Organization, as we know, the like WHO, with an expected impact of reducing the retail value of sport drinks by 21 million liters and cola carbonates by over 9 million liters by 2023. For the second point is the issue of boycott during the conflicts between Israel and Palestine. So Malaysia boycott of Coca-Cola and other American products driven by the conflict between Israel and Palestine and will spread support for the boycott in the wake of U.S. perceived alignment with Israel has significantly impacted the industry, leading to decreased sales, financial repercussions, and the potential loss of local jobs for Coca-Cola Malaysia. Last but not least, the point is intense price competition from River. So we're using PES6. 
Coca-Cola strategically employed a flexi flexible pricing strategy within the oligopolistic beverage industry. Initially, entering price conscious markets with low pricing, enlightening with reverse to enhance brand recognition and letters different differentiating itself as a premium brand through intangible attribute, allowing the company to maintain competitiveness, increasing global accessibility and maximize market share by leveraging a cost effective supply chains and extensive distribution network. Next, I would like to present the opportunities of the financial system in Malaysia. Firstly, Coca-Cola Malaysia introduction of Coca-Cola Zero Sugar reflects a proactive approach catering to health conscious consumers. This move positions them as a market frontrunner attracting new consumers who prioritize healthier beverage options. Secondly, through strategy, marketing and advertising, Coca-Cola Malaysia has capitalized on the country's diverse populations. They are multilingual approach incorporating Malay, English and Chinese in regional print and television advertisement. Effectively connect with a wide audience, this target strategy holds great potential to appeal to consumers from various ethnic backgrounds. Lastly, Coca-Cola investment in Malaysia infrastructure, particularly the Hala part in Panda Instead Negeri Semblan is a significant move. This not only enhanced distribution capabilities but also laid the foundation for sustainable production practice. The, the result is increased efficiency and cost effectiveness contributing to higher earning. Salam sejahtera to Dr. Abu. My name is Nixon and I will continue the presentation with analysis the current performance of Coca-Cola in Malaysia. Coca-Cola Malaysia has consistently demonstrated great performance in the Malaysia market since the launching of operation in Malaysia. Although there were challenges faced by Coca-Cola Malaysia such as pandemic COVID-19, Coca-Cola Malaysia was able to solve this problem with great solution. Action taken by Coca-Cola Malaysia during pandemic era increased its public image and contributed to the growth in reputation. As we all know that commercial advertising is crucial for an organization to promote its product to the society. However, Coca-Cola Malaysia made a huge decision to halt its commercial advertising in order to combat the COVID-19 outbreak. This strategic decision underscored the company's dedication to make a positive impact on the issue of public health crisis. Besides that, I will talk about the investment of Coca-Cola in Malaysia. Coca-Cola believes that Malaysia market offers considerable opportunity for growth. Coca-Cola Malaysia then invested around 1.3 billion ringgit in Malaysia to build distribution hub at Halau Park, Banda and Stank in Negeri Sembilan. 500 million ringgit Malaysia of the investment was allocated to the automated storage retrieval system warehouse. With this, Coca-Cola Malaysia is set to contribute to the country's role as a regional hub and center of excellence for advanced and automated intra-logistics. Next, Coca-Cola Malaysia had provided many job opportunities to the locals. Over the past 10 years, Coca-Cola Malaysia had created more than 10,000 jobs to the locals. Coca-Cola Malaysia hires a lot of local workers because local workers have a better understanding of the local cultures. Other than that, Coca-Cola Malaysia also organized a program named Coca-Cola Community Usahawan. It was a free online program which opens to all women and young entrepreneurs to study about the ways to run their company and seize for entrepreneur chances. Furthermore, the performance of Coca-Cola in Malaysia also included its effort in environmental sustainability. Coca-Cola had launched 100% recycled plastic pet bottles for the first time in Malaysia. More importantly, pet bottles are halal certified by Jakim. Moreover, Coca-Cola Malaysia also carried out Recycle Me campaign to raise awareness and drive action regarding the importance of recycling. Next, I will talk about the strategies of improvement on the operation of Coca-Cola in Malaysia. First and foremost, Coca-Cola need to pay attention on product innovation and diversification. Nowadays, as Malaysian is more attached to the importance of personal health, 
Coca-Cola can focus more on healthier option products such as Coca-Cola Light and Coca-Cola Tampa Calorie to fulfill the consumer needs. Secondly, supply chain optimization is a good strategy to help Coca-Cola Malaysia improve in their daily operation. This strategy helps to reduce the overall cost of the company. For example, Coca-Cola that imported sugar from the other countries may consider using local sugar to pro produce their products. These strategies can build a strong relationship with local suppliers and also distributors, which can minimize the cost of raw materials. Other than that, Coca-Cola need to focus on employee training and development to ensure that the workforce can adapt to the fast-changing market. Employee training and development, including training on technical skills, leadership skills, and soft skills such as communication and problem-solving ability. Furthermore, Coca-Cola Malaysia need to be aware of the importance of digital marketing and e-commerce. Coca-Cola can promote their products more actively through social media such as YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram to stay connected with the consumers. Providing a user-friendly and secure online platform also increase the product accessibility and provide additional convenience to the consumers. On the top of that, Data collected from digital marketing and e-commerce is very important for the company to refine the marketing strategy. Finally, Coca-Cola Malaysia that has actively embraced environmental sustainability still needs to pay continuous effort in this field. Coca-Cola Malaysia must put more effort on recycle program to raise awareness among consumers. Other than that, it is important for Coca-Cola Malaysia to implement sustainable practices in their production process process to minimize negative impact toward environment. By implementing these strategies, Coca-Cola Malaysia can improve in its market performance and contribute positive to the environmental and to the environment and communities. All right, this is the end for the presentation and that's all from our group. Before that, I would like to represent my group members to say a huge thank you to Dr. Abu for your hard work and patience in teaching us throughout this whole semester and also the time and attention you paid on our presentation. A huge thank you again to you, Dr. Abu.